And a nice way to open a video here. We're at uh, Frederick Back Park on this beautiful Sunday, July 15th, 2018. Current time right now is about 2.15 p.m. And I did a video of this place a while back, a short video. And as I explained back then, this is a former landfill that's covered over. So this is a place where they used to dump a lot of the garbage. It still has a landfill aspect to it, but it's more of a recycling aspect. Down there, there's actually a recycling plant. That's a city of Montreal recycling plant. And this hole that you're looking at, like I said, was actually at one point uh, a landfill. And over the last year or so, in this part, the more elevated part of this park, they've actually redid everything. They created this beautiful green space here. And that's what we're gonna explore today. We're gonna walk around here at Frederick Back Park or Park Frederick back. And we're gonna see some interesting things uh, along the way. And down there, if you can actually see there, that's actually a bucket truck. An old city of Montreal, actually not a bucket truck. I think it's a bucket truck, but it's a step van. But I can tell just by looking at it, that thing is old. So for all you old vehicle lovers out there, that's for you. So we're gonna walk around here uh, again. This is at one point, this was at one point a former landfill. And from what I understand, they've actually found a way to harness the energy from all the garbage that's buried under here. All the gas that that garbage lets off. Apparently they used, they found a way to use that gas and turn it into electrical power. And there's a plant down there somewhere. I might have shown you it in my old video. But uh, we're going to walk around here. Right now I'm facing north. Walking north, I'm in Villeray, I believe, and these planes up here are going into the west direction, which is down there, on the final approach to Trudeau Airport. And like I said, what we're going to do here is we're going to walk around, and apparently there's a couple of things of interest in this park. Um, if you're interested in a map of this park, here it is right now. This is the Frederick Back Park right here. I didn't even know they had a lake over here. And all these little, this is where we are right now. We're heading north. We're gonna be heading north. And just to our left is Pepino. Just to our right is St. Michel Boulevard. And that's the viewing point that we were just at. So I'm gonna to try to film all these viewing points. Um, there's different things here. There's apparently pods. Uh, you can apparently go down here as well. So we're going to see that. should be very interesting. So uh, we're going to look around here and it's a very hot day. It's about 30 degrees right now. Feels like 35. Uh, I'm going to be pausing the video from time to time as I usually do to save battery and storage. But uh, when I come across anything interesting, I'll definitely begin uh, filming, resume filming. So let's walk around here and uh, see what we can see. Before I continue filming, I just wanted to point this out. This is something interesting. In Montreal here, we've had quite a few sightings and encounters with coyotes recently over the last year or so. And of course, coyotes are like a dog-like species. And I don't know if there's been any attacks, but there's definitely been some encounters and many sightings of these beautiful creatures. And of course, that's to be expected. You know, we are in a urban environment, but you know, a lot of these beautiful animals that come here, um, you know, they find the forest, they find the nature parks and whatnot, and they, they tend to live there as well. So, you know, these, I believe these beautiful species have a right to life and peace just as we do. Um, so, I mean, we, as we expand and we tear down forests and stuff, we gotta understand that a lot of these you know, coyotes and all kinds of things are having less and less space, less habitat to live in. So, you know, it's nothing that should be surprising to anybody. And I think it's us humans that are to blame for that. You know, you hear a lot of times where, oh, destroy the coyotes or destroy this, destroy that. Uh, humans take, you know, humans take precedence over everything else. No, it's complete nonsense, you know. They have every right to life, maybe even more right than we do, because you know, they were, we're the ones that are at the top of the, the food chain, we're the ones that have the responsibility to 
you know, keep all species as happy and equal as possible. That's just my opinion. Uh, and down here, we can actually see, look at this. It's actually pieces of garbage and whatnot in there. And that's because I think they're clearing this area out here. That's all garbage that was there at one point. Very fascinating to see. I mean, if you were to dig into this landfill, you'd probably find artifacts and pieces of garbage from, you know, the 40s, the 50s. Yeah, and it's really amazing to think about how much garbage is underneath those heaps of grass over there, that big area of grass. Um, yeah, I find it fascinating, this place, really fascinating to know that there's so much underneath. If you were to dig under there, you would find so many fascinating pieces of trash. Um, I'm sure of it, old toys, uh, who knows. And again, I don't think we're actually allowed over there where that uh, hilly area is. Would be nice, but we'll keep walking and see what we can see as we continue north. All right, let's try to get a nice view of this plane coming in right above us. There's another moment of good timing. And now we're actually coming to the point where we're going to see the cliffs, some of the cliffs of, they're kind of the perimeter of where they dug this landfill. And that's coming up in a moment here. We got another little viewing point here. I think that's the main entrance there for the trucks to come. And again, I don't know what they do here now, um, but Obviously, there's all kinds of equipment here. Obviously, the landfill itself isn't active anymore. With the exception of that recycling plant, which is down there. But if you look here, again, you can see pieces of garbage and plastic and bags. Again, not sure if that's actually garbage that came from the ground and kind of overflowed. Or if it's actually part of maybe the recycling plant down there. Pieces of material that blew away. Nice birds around here too, beautiful bird species. So we're coming up to a nice paved area now. Not that there's anything wrong with these paths. But, um, they've really done a beautiful job in this park. I remember years ago, this is just a dirt path here. But like I said, I would love to go over there where that heap of land is that hilly area and try to film there but I don't think we're able to go there and if you look at those like pipes coming out it's like exhaust pipes I think that's actually for the landfill to ventilate it a nice shadow of that plane I don't know if you caught that on the film It's like some mulch down there, some wood. So I'll pause the video and I'll resume further down there where those cliffs are. Unless I see something of interest first. One more view facing south. And we should see, actually see Olympic Stadium from here. I'm trying to get the Montreal skyline. We could be seeing that soon enough. There's another big one coming in there. But uh, I don't want to use all my storage or battery just yet. I see those pods actually down there in the distance. So that's where we're going to have to go. I might do two videos by the way depending on how this camera decides to hold up. I might do two videos so if you're watching this I'll definitely post a note in my video description that there's a second video and naturally post a link to it as well. So uh, we'll resume recording in a moment. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, because unfortunately when I'm pausing the video, the battery is actually being used uh, more than I like. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this video now. Nice little butterfly there. And I'm gonna make my second video coming up. So again, I'm gonna cut this video, make a second video, and uh, I'll post a link for that second video now. So uh, click the link below for video number two of Frederick Backpark.